In question number three of this series, we're asked, what mass of KBr, which is potassium bromide, in grams should you use to make 250 milliliters of 1.50 molar of potassium bromide solution? So we're told the molarity, and it's 1.50 molar. I'll use this formula to come up with the number of moles of potassium bromide. And I can do that by setting it up like this, where I have 1.50 is equal to the amount of solute of potassium bromide, which I'll represent with the letter X, it's an unknown, over the volume of the solution. Notice that our volume has been provided in milliliters, so we need to convert this into liters first. To go from milliliters to liters, we need to divide this number by 1,000. The conversion ratio is 1,000 milliliters per every one liter. So dividing 250 by 1,000 gives us a quarter. 0 0.2500. Notice that I've retained the four significant figures that was originally in that number. Now to find x, we multiply both sides of this equation by 0 0.2500. And we end up with this canceling out with that. 0 0.2500 times 1.50 gives us 0 0.375 moles of potassium bromide. 0 0.375 moles of KBr. I stopped after three significant figures because of these two numbers, you have to take the lower amount when it comes to multiplying and dividing. Next, what I have to do to find the mass is find the molar mass of KBr. And to do that, I'll use the following two values. KBr has one potassium and one bromine. So I'll add 39.09 plus 79.90 and that will give me the molar mass. 39.09 plus 79.90 gives us 118.99. Molar mass is 118.99. The way you can distinguish between molar mass and molarity is oftentimes in textbooks they will represent molarity with the letter C or they'll represent molarity with M surrounded by square brackets. We have the number of moles, we have the molar mass. If I multiply this number with this number, technically this is a rate because it's one unit over another, but anyway, if you multiply this with this, the number of moles will cancel out because you have one mole at the top, one at the bottom. Using our calculator, multiplying these two numbers out, we end up with 44.6. 44.6 grams of potassium bromide. I stopped after the six because that's the third significant figure, and that is how to calculate solution concentration.